Hello and welcome to Prudent Media News. First, look at the headlines. Gudi Part was celebrated all over the nation on Friday. The day marks beginning of Hindu calendar. Hindu families in state raise goodies on top of their houses. Goa ranks third in country as far as per capita deposits are concerned. Goa overcome by union territories of Delhi and Chandigarh. Funeral of Matani Saldana to be held at St Thomas Church in Kansauli with state honours on Saturday. Special traffic arrangements for funeral. Lusophonia Games on track for 2013 says VM Prabhu Desai. National Games could be postponed to 2015. And Sporting Club de Goa are top of the tree in under-20 state football championship. Sporting President Peter Vaz says the club is working like a professional academy. Now the news in detail. Neem paste, flowers, rangoli and goodie. Sausar Padwa was celebrated all over the nation on Friday. The day marks the beginning of Hindu calendar. Have a look at the celebration in the state. Bureau Report, Prudent Media. Goa is ranked third in the country as far as per capita deposits are concerned. Goa's Economic Survey 2011-12 states that Goa has been overcome only by union territories of Delhi and Chandigarh. Goa's Economic Survey 2011-12 states that Goa is ranked third in the country as far as per capita deposits are concerned. According to the survey which has been tabled on the floor of the house per capita deposit of Delhi stood at 3 lakh 16000 rupees followed by Chandigarh 2 lakh 32000 rupees and Goa with 1 lakh 72000 rupees survey report states that aggregate deposits registered a phenomenal growth from 9 crore in 1962 a year after liberation from portuguese rule to 26 crore 45 in 2008-2009 and 34 crore 165 in 2010 11. Report also says that bank deposits have seen increasing trend over the last few years as on September 2011 total bank deposits stood at 40 crore 617 rupees. Survey also states that as new investment avenues become more familiar with investors, the annual growth rate of deposits reduced to 13% in the year 2009-2010.
Subsequently, in 2010-11, the growth rate went up to 16%. Goa has a well-knit banking system with as many as 586 banking offices as on September 30, 2011. Goa is the only state with low ratio of 4,148 population per bank branch, while all other states and union territories has a ratio of about 5,000 population per branch. This shows that Goa has the best banking services compared with all other states and union territories in the country. Bureau Report, Prudent Media. Funeral of Tourism and Environment Minister Matani Saldana would be held at St. Thomas Church in Kansawali with state honours on Saturday. Matani Saldana had suffered a massive cardiac arrest during V hours of Wednesday. Body of Matani Saldana was shifted from GMC Mock to his residence on Friday. Relatives, friends and loved ones gathered at his residence at Kasaule for consoling the bereaved family. Funeral of Tourism Minister Matani Saldana would be held at St. Thomas Church in Kasaule at 3 p.m. with full state honours on Saturday. Traffic arrangements are also being made so that there is minimal disturbance for the funeral and no inconvenience to the commuters. Pendle is being put outside the Kasaule Church for a funeral mass. MJ Vijayan of National Fisher Workers Forum says that Mathani was a Goan fighter and national figure. He was a founder and chairman of the National Fisher Workers Forum. He is a national figure, somebody who played a very, very crucial role as the founding member and the founding chairperson of the National Fisher Workers Forum. Uh, in his 30s, uh, in 1978, he became the first uh, chairperson of the National Fisher Workers Forum. And it is our fortune that the he, when he died, he was also the chairperson. 2008-2009, he came back to National Fish Workers Forum at a crisis moment and reunited the coastal uh, unions in, in, in all over India. His battle for coastal regulation zone, his battle for uh, Marine Regulation Act, his battle for Traditional Fish Workers Rights Act, these are things that, that are going to really place him very, very different than any other politician, but a trade unionist, a mass leader, of not just people of Goa, but of all of coastal India. He had a lot to do for Goa, but uh, for all of India also. And the struggling people across the world are going to miss him. Our reporter Savio Dias, Jason Suarez with video journalist Ravinder Darvi. It's time for a short break. Stay tuned.